Would you like to be able to shoot or hunt at longer ranges with your Swarovski Z8 or Z6 scope? First of all, you need to be able to adjust your ballistic turret and then, of course, you can do it. First, let's see what's in the box. The turret itself. Small rings with markings from 2 to 5 and 2 with just a uh, white dot. And then we have this ring which can be also mounted on this turret because this turret can be used either for elevation or for windage and this uh, is used for windage. I will leave this for now. Now let's see all the options that we have for elevations. So the first option as you can see here is already mounted on the turret and it is the ring with, the, with these numbers and these numbers actually um, are the click numbers. So we start with zero and then each click is uh, a certain number. So five is five clicks, 10, 10 clicks and so on out to 70 clicks. Um, using this turret, you are able, able to, to go out to 70, 70 clicks. And um, if you don't know, Swarovski Z8 scopes have uh, one click, which is equals one centimeter at uh, 100 uh, meters, which is uh, the same as 0.1 mil. This is my preferred way for adjusting elevation because I use a range finder and when I, when I measure distance, uh, I get also the shooting solution in clicks. It just uh, gives me a number and I then, let's say if I measure uh, 400 meters, it gives me like 40 clicks and I just need to adjust to 40 here and now I can, I can shoot. The next solution, we have to take off this cover from the, from the turret. Sorry. We take off this cover, we take off this ring with the numbers and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six small rings from number two to number five and then two more with uh, just a white dot. Okay, we can put maximum, not maximum, we, we need to put four of them, not more, not less. Uh, so uh, we need to adjust this. We can do it in different ways. Uh, we can use a ballistic solar, whichever you prefer. You just need to know how to regulate the clicks. Or you can go on Swarovski uh, ballistic uh, calculator and uh, uh, follow the steps. And uh, then you can just put the rings as uh, follows. Uh, so now I will show you the complete procedure to 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 set correctly the the turret with these small rings. We write in Swarovski ballistic program. And the first result is the Swarovski optic ballistic program. We click on it, and here we come. Okay, here the first thing you need to select your uh, Swarovski scope that you that you have. You click on it and go continue with configuration. Okay, so let's start on the left side. A rifle scope, we selected which is the one that we use. Sight high about bore. Uh, this is really important. Don't just write something but measure it. You can find a lot of videos. Maybe I will make one on how to measure the sight high about bore. In my case, it's 4.4 centimeters and uh, I can say that uh, if you're using uh, Blaster R8 uh, with the Blaster mount you will have this 
site about um, about board. Okay, now let's go. Ammunition. You can go hand load or database. Let's start with database. You check. You you find your the manufacturer that you're shooting. Let's say Norma. Then you select your caliber. In my case, it's 65 by 55 Swedish. Next, you select the bullet. Okay, it's Bone Strike Extreme. And you get all the data in here already uh, uh, full. So, bullet weight 143 grains, 9.26 grams. And you have the muzzle velocity and you have uh, uh, the BC of the bullet. Uh, here I strongly suggest that you measure your velocity with uh, some kind of chronograph and then you, if you find that it is a little bit different than what it suggests here, you, you correct it to the one that you measured with the uh, chronograph. Okay, but in my case I use a hand load ammunition, okay, I check hand load. Bullet weight in my case is 143 grains. It will automatically uh, put also in grams. The muzzle velocity for me is 855 meters per second. Ballistic coefficient, I will check G7, which is uh, more appropriate for the bow tail bullets. And now I need to find the ballistic uh, coefficient for my bullet. Uh, so my bullet is. Uh, Cornady 143 grains LDX. Click here, okay, LDX, and I will find this bullet on the internet. And here I have all the data that I need. This data is also uh, on the bullet box. And here we see G1 or G7. I prefer to use G7 for both tail bullets. So 0.315. I go back and I insert here 0.315. Okay. Now I can insert all the other stuff. Hornady. Hornady caliber it's 6.5 millimeters. Bullet shape I will write LDX. Okay, now let's go to the conditions. The conditions, no matter what we choose, database or hand load, we need to put in the conditions. So zero range, I will say zero range for me is always 100 meters. I will leave it like this. And then you can just put in the approximate uh, level above C where you were zeroing your rifle. Let's say it was 400 meters. Or you can go to the expert mode and you will have additional data. Okay? You can put this, I mean, uh, uh, the height about C, or you can put uh, air pressure. Air pressure is a better, better uh, uh, one to put. Air humidity and temperature. Okay, I will leave everything like this. And when we have done this, we just need to go and click submit. Okay. And now we come here. It will automatically put us on the reticle uh, page, which does not interest us because we are interested in the ballistic turret flex. Okay. And here we just need to uh, decide. Or okay, so here we can also go with the table. In the table, we will see all the all the data that is uh, uh, at certain distances. Okay, so 100 meters, we say here is the zero. Then we have uh, 200. We see we need five clicks. Then we have 300. We need 12 clicks, and so on. Okay, but since we have uh, the ballistic turret flex. We have also the program, which is here, okay? And we can just insert the distances at which we would like to shoot. So first distance is zero range, of course. Next is, let's say, let's put 
200 meters okay then we have 250 meters 300 meters and 350 meters okay the distances are, are really uh, it depends on let's say on what kind of animal we are shooting or targets or whatever anyway if we are shooting at a row deer size game the road here is quite small, so it's better to stay within 50 meter range. So uh, I will go out to maximum 350 meters. If I'm shooting at the red deer, I can easily put here 300, 400, and 500 meters, okay? And so on. Okay, but as I said, Mostly I shoot row deer and I will leave here 250, 300 and 350, okay? So now when I decided, I just need to click refresh and here is all the data that I need to, to set correctly my uh, ballistic turret. Um, it is maybe a little bit strange because it says five, four, three, four clicks, but to make it clear, we start zero is 100 meters. Then we insert five clicks, we go 200, then four more clicks is 250, three more clicks is 300, four more is 350, okay? And that's, uh, that's how it's done. Uh, so now let's go and uh, let's, uh, let's set up our ballistic turret with this data that we have here. There is another option, the fourth one. We can go to the PBR, Personalized Ballistic Ring. Uh, this is totally customized. You can follow all these steps and you will uh, order a ring that is actually numbered exactly for the uh, for your shooting application uh, and so on. Putting on the turret is really simple. We just need to take off the scope cap. Okay, we take it off. We check that it is on zero here, and then. We just put the turret here and we press it down, okay? And it's on. Okay, now we want to set up the small rings on the, on the turret. First, I need to take off this cap, take this off, okay? Put it to the side. Take off this ring with the numbers, if you don't like this option. And then we start. So we said, zero is at 100 meters. At 200 meters, I need to go five clicks. So I make one, two, three, four, five clicks. And now I need to take care to put the number two at exactly where it needs to be, okay? From 200 to 250, I have four more clicks. So one, two, three, four. Now I will use a small ring with white dot. Again, I need to take care that I put it exactly where it should be, okay? Now, from 250 to 300, I have three more clicks. One, two, three, okay? Now we are at 300. Now I put the ring with the mark three, okay? From 300 to 350, I have four more clicks. So one, two, three, four, okay? And now I put another ring with the white dot. Again, need to watch to put it exactly where it should be. Okay, that's it. And now I just need to put on the, the cap. Uh, 
and it's done. Now returning back to zero and it's at zero. Now I can lock the turret and go hunting. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe with notifications so you don't miss my future content. Of course, if you need some help setting up your ballistic turret flex, let me know and I can guide you through the process. See you next time.